starting off today in uh, freezing Fort Lee, New Jersey. It's pretty cold out here. The original plan was to go to Phoenix and chill out there with my friend. So I figured if I'm driving to Phoenix, why not go all the way to California? The plan right now, we're gonna go from water to water, coast to coast. That right there, it's New York City. I would start in New York City, but I don't feel like paying $15 to go across this thing. This is as close as I'm gonna get. It's the Hudson River, and hopefully see the Pacific real soon. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go over some quick road trip essentials. Hybrid car, BMX bike, sleeping bag and pillow, bread and peanut butter, Red Bull. Cooler with drinks, and a bottle of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Before we head out, gotta get some gas. All right, so first tank of gas has been filled and currently getting 58 miles per gallon. The best I've ever done in this car has been 56 miles per gallon. Hoping uh, to hit the 60 mark during this road trip. Let's do it! <laughs> We're on the road now. This is like the first class of road trips right now. Got the hybrid car, save on gas. Got the GPS going over here. And we got that Netflix going over here. I felt bad for the people that had to use to do road trips like 20 years ago. Pretty much just using a map with no electronics or anything. Technology. All right, now, where's that autopilot? Hour later, just crossing the New Jersey Pennsylvania border. It's time to crack open a cold one with the boys. Oh, yeah. Just kidding, it's seltzer. So, there's a sign coming up for the Jersey Shore. Uh, hope I'm not going the wrong way. What the hell? Just approaching five hours now. I just passed a sign that said I'm the highest point on this side of the Mississippi. I'm the worst vlogger. I missed it. But I am driving, so that is my excuse. Pretty tired. I'm still okay, but I could use a little nap. Plan is to get to Cleveland right now. Looks like about just under three hours left. <laughs> am I regretting it? Not yet. It's pretty lonely, but I just can't wait to get there. And I really gotta pee. Jerry calls George and he's asking him, you know, what's going on, where? It's currently 4.30. Still in the middle of Pennsylvania. It's gonna get dark soon. I kinda wanted to film like one clip every state that I drove by. I don't think I'm gonna hit any Pennsylvania cities on the way. This rest stop is gonna have to do. <laughs> Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> but at least I'm awake now, and the sun is beaming on my face. That's how you know you're heading west. It's currently 5.30, stopping for gas. First uh, refill. I have about a quarter tank, but might as well fill it up now, just in case. What's high in the middle and round at the ends? Ohio! Currently in East Cleveland, Ohio. It's 7.45. That means it took me eight hours and 45 minutes to get here, which doesn't make any sense. Google said six hours. I took a couple piss breaks, but shouldn't have taken that much of a difference. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. I can't ride, it's freaking way too cold. All right, well at this point, I'm just... Today is day two, still in Cleveland. Uh, I slipped over uh, Costanza Graham's follower's house. Shout out to Patrick for letting me stay with you. Gotta keep moving. This is gonna be like Shawshank Redemption, where crawling through 10 football fields of shit to get to the other side. It's the 
third stop for gas now. It's getting, it's getting tough, but uh, I'm hanging in there. The only thing's keeping me awake right now, candy and a podcast. What the hell? <laughs> this thing's sick. Crossing the Indiana border. Hello, Indiana. Thank you for the rain. <sighs> I haven't had breakfast yet. Pretty hungry. Got these Pop-Tarts, but I don't like eating cold Pop-Tarts. Hmm. Toasty pop tarts with some engine grease on it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> oh, getting, getting pretty tired. tired. About an hour away from Chicago. Should, Should I stop? No, no, no way, way, Jack. About to cross the Indiana. Illinois, Illinois, I don't know how to say it right. Border, and I realized the clock has changed, and I'm officially a time traveler. 88 miles per hour! Quick stop here in Chicago. Really want to see that giant bean thing. I know it's kind of cliche and stupid, but it's just something I always want to see. <laughs> and also probably get us some deep dish pizza. There you go. I don't even know what the hell this thing is. It's funny how people are so fascinated by it. <laughs> Had some issues with parking and me just being a moron. <laughs> so I decided to go to Lou Ma Malnati's. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, Lou! <laughs> it's a really tiny one. And I screwed up the order, but, oh, huh, so tiny. <laughs> so, first impression. So, it's really cheesy. <laughs> Pretty good though. I like the fact that you can actually stretch the cheese like in the commercials. Ugh. Now leaving Chicago, had my pizza fix, heading to Iowa. A Chicago Bears game just ended, so there's a million cars everywhere. Just getting into Iowa. It's insanely dark, nothing's lit. Can you even see me? Nope, can't see me. Oh man, I'm really, really far. This sucks! I'm going nuts! Stop to get gas. This will be fill up number four. Total mileage so far is 970 miles. <sighs> My professional driving shoes right now. ran into some Iowans. They already saw my plates and were like, hey, you're a long way far away from home. Yep. Pretty nice people out here, actually. <laughs> That's cool, at least. I need some sleep and beer and a freaking shower. You're a doing. <laughs> you ever seen a man on TV, like, just sliding off the front of the sofa? Just got here to the uh, University of Iowa in Iowa City. A buddy of mine goes to school here. I hit him up and try to get some dinner, maybe a drink or something. I think I'm gonna stay with him tonight and then head out again in the morning. It has been a long day of driving. TCB, taking care of business.
It's now day three, driving to California. As you can see, my hair is less greasy. I finally got a chance to take a shower, change clothes, so feeling a little better. Getting on the highway right now. Follow 80 west for over 100 miles. But as I was driving, I realized I haven't been to the Shelly, which is the outside view of the Seinfeld apartment that you're probably used to seeing. I'm gonna put a picture up right here. That's actually in California or in LA. And last time I was in LA, I actually forgot to go by there. And it's just something I've always wanted to see. That's this mission now. I'm driving 3,000 miles to see the Seinfeld apartment. Philip number five at Come and Go. It's a really weird name. I thought the Rocky Mountains would be a lot rockier than this. Yeah, that John Denver is full of shit, man. It smells like horse shit out here. <laughs> we'll probably take a nap at the next rest stop and then keep it moving. Just crossed into Colorado. Figured I'd take a nice picture at this funny looking sign. <laughs> Currently 4 o'clock a.m. mountain time. Just passing by Denver, Colorado. Wanted to go by, you know, check out the city and smoke some marijuana. Not really. <laughs> but I feel like I'm running behind. Still about 10 hours away from Las Vegas. Probably go to the next rest stop, take a nap. Watching Curb Your Enthusiasm on my phone. I know I shouldn't be doing that while I'm driving, but it's keeping me awake, keeping me entertained. I'm really hoping to get to uh, California very soon. Woo! Well, I'm doing the road trip thing, sleeping in the car. Got the sleeping bag going on. It's about 32 degrees out here. I'm really looking forward to that warm weather. But for now, I'm gonna take a quick nap. Oh, man. Time to keep moving. But first, I wanna brush my teeth. That was the only reason I actually wanted to stop in Denver. I wanted to see the Rocky Mountains. And it's a good thing I didn't have to stop. Crazy nice view right here. Makes me want to have a Coors Light though. Really glad I slept in that gas station. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite part of this drive so far. I'm not even into the whole scenic type of crap, but this is actually really, really awesome to see. It's like I'm in the movie or something, but except that truck coming by. <laughs> Couldn't get any more creative. <laughs> Hell yeah, look at those numbers. 62! About to cross the Colorado-Utah border. Colorado has definitely been, in my opinion, the best scenic part so far. Definitely a nice step up from the boring ass drive in Nebraska. <laughs> Sorry if you're from Nebraska, but man, that that was a rough ride. It's not even mentioned. They're just they're just the first scene that they're. I think a piss really bad, so I'm gonna get gas and piss at the same time. 
I've been getting a little cabin fever being in this car for too long, so I like the way these canyon things look. I'm gonna try to do a hot bar in front of it. Well, that was fun. Time to keep moving. I'm loving this t-shirt weather. Wow. These mountains don't even look real. It looks like I'm looking at a painting. So I'm about four hours away right now from Las Vegas. I need a shower. I would like to take a shit and maybe take a nap. The room is only 17 bucks, so might as well, right? currently 3 o'clock a.m. Pacific time, which is the same thing as 6 o'clock a.m. my normal Eastern time, so I guess it's not that bad. Next stop, L.A. La La Land. I know what you do! What? Every time the check what? comes, how you run off to the bathroom! You don't think I see that? Oh, fuck uh, you! Yeah. 6 a.m. now, sun's about to come out. Looks pretty amazing from up here. Something I completely forgot to consider <laughs> is the traffic. So I'm about 50 miles away from LA. According to Google, it says two hours. So this should be interesting. Finally made it to California. Two hour delay. First stop. So for those of you that don't watch Seinfeld, this is the exterior shot they use for Jerry's apartment. It's obviously not in New York. <laughs> but I've always wanted to see it. You came all the way from Manhattan for this? Yeah, yeah I did. Here, I'm gonna try and fix the buzzer! It fell in the sewer! <laughs> well, just had a lot of fun <laughs> yelling Seinfeld quotes like a crazy person. People probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I gotta eat. So what do you eat when you're in LA? The sea was angry that day, my friends. Well, 2,889 miles later, made it, made it to the Pacific Ocean. Now what am I going to do? I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. So I know this trip hasn't been very BMX heavy. So, as per Sean's request, he wants me to go to the Nude Bowl. I don't know what that is. Gave me the uh, GPS coordinates for it. Gonna head over there, check out this Nude Bowl. Hopefully not a rape trap or something. If it is, Sean, I hate you. So this is the road Sean is sending me down. Looks like going somewhere to get assassinated. We seem to have a bit of a problem here. Sean sent me some Google coordinates. It says go up this dirt road. There's no road. How am I supposed to get my car over these giant lumps of dirt everywhere? Uh, well, I'm sorry guys. Probably not going to be riding here. Yeah, I'm heading to Phoenix now. <laughs> I really don't feel like going out there and ending up dead or something. Especially it's it's a bowl pool or something that I'm not even probably very good at riding at, so it's probably not worth dying over. This is a really sick view at least. The mountains and my beautiful insight, which has managed to take this long ass trip 
for anyone that's ever wanted to do the trip like this, I highly recommend it just to, you know, try something different. It's nice to just see the country. You know, people always want to go traveling across the world and stuff like that, but there's just a lot of amazing shit in our own, you know, you don't even need a passport for. Get your car, get some piece of shit car in case it breaks down, if anything. That way you could just leave it <laughs> and junk that. I had a lot of fun, even though I was all by myself. It would have been nice to have someone with me. I wish I had more time to make more frequent stops and stuff. That way I could have ridden more cities and stuff like that. Seeing all this stuff for the first time is pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed my little adventure. It continues since I have to do I, I do have to drive home. <laughs> Tomorrow or the next day is gonna be Phoenix for the rest of the week. And then I think I might stop by Austin. We'll see what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button. Comment below if you want me to, me to if there's anything on the way back, maybe I could stop by. That would be pretty cool. So, see you then. Peace!